in this video, we are going to talk about spheres, what they are, and how to find surface area and volume. So a sphere is just the set of points in space equidistant from one point. So normally when we think about a circle, a circle is the set of points on a two-dimensional surface that's equidistant from a point. So you can kind of see a circle in here. But now if this radius could go everywhere in three-dimensional space, you'd get a sphere, okay? So every point on this sphere is equidistant from that center. The middle, um, the middle point that I just highlighted there is called the center. The distance from the center to any spot on the sphere is the radius. Then you have what's called a great circle. It's the biggest circle that can fit in. So it would it would be, um, you know, you could get littler ones in here. Like you could put a little circle here. That's not a great circle. Okay, so a great circle will have a center the same as the sphere. Okay, and it'll be the biggest one that can fit in. So not the smaller, okay, but the biggest circle, it'll have the same center as the sphere. And then um, it also splits it into two equal hemispheres or two equal halves. Okay, so half of the sphere is called a hemisphere. So surface area, if you could think of cutting it up into a two-dimensional shape, it would look kind of like this. <clears throat> um, and the way you would find the surface area is to do 4 times pi times the radius squared. Okay, so 4 times pi times the radius squared is surface area formula. The volume is 4 times pi times the radius cubed divided by 3. Okay, so in a certain, remember area, I, like, I, can re I remember if it's squared because of area is units squared, and so you have your radius squared. Versus volume is units cubed, so you have your radius cubed for the volume formula. Okay, so 4 pi r squared for surface area, 4 pi r cubed divided by 3 for the volume. So let's find um, the surface area and the volume of this sphere. So surface area formula, again, is 4 times pi times the radius squared. So we'll do 4 times pi times 10 squared. And then remember, squared means the 10 is there twice. So when you're typing it into your calculator, what I would do is type in 4 times 3.14 times 10 times 10. So 4 times 3.14 times 10 times 10 gives us 1,256. And then it's area, surface area, so feet squared. And then volume is 4 times pi times the radius cubed divided by 3. So then 4 times pi times 10 cubed divided by 3. And then remember that this 10 is just 10 cubed would be 3 tens. So you'll do 4 times 3.14 times 10 times 10 times 10, and then divide that by 3. So typing it into your calculator, you should get 4,186.67 feet cubed. So make sure you're typing it into your calculator right and getting that same answer. Okay, last one. Let's take a look at this sphere and find the surface area and volume for this one. So surface area, again, 4 times pi times your radius squared. Radius, this one gives us diameter, so we need to split that in half to get the radius of 9. So then just type that into your calculator, 4 times 3.14 times 9 times 9, and you get 1017 point three six and then meters squared volume four times pi times the radius which is nine cubed divided by three so four times three point one four times 
9 times 9 times 9 divided by 3. And you get 3,052.08 meters cubed.